Pro Exterior Services here again. Got a nice little house. It's actually in my little subdivision. And I usually do a little, you know, subdivision discount. Anyway, we're going to do the house, driveway. Got the water running. Tony's moving some stuff real quick. You can see here the house. All this algae mold. So it's what I plan to do here is I'm going to come in with the soft wash at about a 2%. And just kind of spray it down a little bit. Let's see. Show you the back of the house. Spray all this down. Look how nasty it is. And uh, over here, we got some heavy growth. Again, I'm hit it with a 2%. No vegetation here, so that's awesome. Oh, you see here, no vegetation. We're good. The whole back of the house is good, but no vegetation, so we don't have to pre water. <clears throat> that's great. I just got stung by a wasp. It's always fun. I'm not moving this. We're not in the moving business. We'll move some stuff, but we ain't moving all that. And see fixtures like this, you want to make sure that, uh, look, it's, it's dangling. Put a bag on it. Uh, let's see. And then this is where I got stung. In this, in this light, there's a wasp nest. See it right here? And I was telling Tony, make sure we bag it, and it just popped me. Oh, <laughs> they know we're here. All right, anyway, let me go ahead and pull a soft wash. Let's go check this out. I'm going to hit this as well with a soft wash. So I'll probably pre-wet this because we don't want to kill the grass. Let's go check over here. No vegetation to be concerned with, so we're good. So really, the only place we've got a water is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some hose, get the soft wash set up. We're going to go ahead and blow this driveway off, get out of here, move on to the next one. And trucks is having issues. Hopefully they get it fixed today. I don't know. Uh, so a family member helped me uh, with a Tundra that he says I can borrow for a few days, a week, whatever I need. So appreciate that. Anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and get set up and roll with it. All right, peace. As you can see, I put my 2% on. It's already turning white. All that green stuff's turning white, so we're gonna go ahead and let that marinate. In the meantime, uh, again, not being in my own truck where everything is located, I forgot my remote at home, which I only live up two blocks, so Anthony's going to run and grab that. So while he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this because we sprayed it. I hit it with the M5 twist, came out nice, but I'm gonna go ahead and put that little J-Rod, a little bit higher pressure, not too high of pressure. There's no sand between this, as you can tell. So might as well knock that out right away while he's doing that. That way when he gets back, we just gotta boom, boom, get it done, bada bing. All right, guys, I got you on the rebound when I get some, uh, get that short, short wine in my hand. Well. All right, keep just putting the soap on here. And uh, yeah, that, uh, that pre-treat with the uh, 2% worked great. See that light? See that crack? an accident waiting to happen let me just go around it just go around it baby supposedly they had this house redone and I don't know You're gonna go around? yeah and then uh hit this it's a little dirty stuff nasty some people I think their expectations are a little too high for anything but it's coming out nice it is it's just it needs some work we're gonna hit that flat work in a minute so we'll be good there all right guys let me go finish soaping we're almost done with the house and uh hit on that driveway and that back patio so i'm gonna do up until here get behind the gate and be done all right guys catch up with you on a rebound all right peace Surface cleaning done, as you can tell, we got a big puddle. We already got the sludge sucker out, so that's game. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and try to push through it. And then, uh, once we get past this section here, we're gonna go ahead and sludge it out. Put it in the grass over here. Sludge sucker works great. If you don't have one, it's a great uh, tool for your toolbox. Highly recommend it. And this is coming out pretty nice. All that green stuff came off. I went ahead and blew it off before we did the surface cleaning. 
That way we didn't have to deal with it in our surface cleaner. It's one of those types of things. Anyway, all right, guys, we're going to go ahead and finish up and get her done. I'll hit you up. Peace. Up here on a, on a roof, got a gutter call, uh, so we fit it in the schedule. It's a, it's a, it's a, a friend of a friend, so we fit her in. We, we three weeks out, at least three weeks out right now. And uh, yeah, it's looking good. Tony's up there. The challenging part's gonna be that section up here, because this is a very steep roof, but I think we'll be able to get to it. And it, it uh, yeah, just, so, uh, oh, we're already up so on all this flat work, so that's going to happen. Need to get that done. Still boring the truck, you know, and nothing's changed since the last video, the last little thing. And we've got these guys up here, so we're going to go ahead and knock those out. Those will be easy. I say easy. When, when I mean easy, it's not filled four inches with dirt. It is a lot of pine straw, and it's wet, so it, it, it makes it a little bit... Hold on a second. All right, let me go help Tony. All right, got the back done pretty quick. That upper section was able to use this gutter tool from Eco Echo, and uh, so we just catching these front ones, and we'll be out of here. And dodging but rain bullets, of course. But we got two full bags of uh, debris out of those back gutters. It was heavy, heavily caked, and these are pretty heavily caked. Got these crepe myrtles here that collects all kind of leaves and everything. But yeah, we're good. All right, guys. Catch you in a few. Everybody, that's what we're dealing with here. You can see it's kind of caked up in the gutters. Over here where they're clean. Got a little spot over there. But this is what it is. It's right, right here. Collect the mulch. All right, peace. And another driveway job here. Just a nice little uh, ticket on the uh, deal. You got it? You turn the pump on, right? Yeah. So anyway, we got a little bit of pool area we're going to do. Not the whole pool patio, but we got a little bit we're going to do. So we're going to go ahead and hit it with some two and a half. Just let it marinate. Tony's gonna go ahead and blow it off real quick, and then we'll hit this driveway. Shouldn't take us that long, but yeah, not a bad gig. It's definitely hot, so anybody out there in the heat, take your breaks, man. Drink your Gatorades, get in the air conditioner. No, it's not worth the risk, not at all. And I'm not gonna surface clean that back, it's that travertine. I just think I'm gonna use my M5 twist on a pressure wash and just kind of. <laughs> Hit it with a good little volume, not high pressure, about six, seven hundred psi out the M5 twist. All right, guys, let me show you what I'm talking about. See this area here? How it's all green. This is what we're gonna hit. So I'm gonna soft wash it and just wash it off this way. Tony's so just blowing it off. And then I don't know that I'm gonna do a post, a pre-treat on here. I mean, it is bad. I may do it, but I like to leave it time to sit. I may hit a little bit. All right, guys, catch up in a minute. Peace. Finishing up here. Uh, of course, we got rain. We've been dealing with that. But as you can see, look at these lines, man. Got some heavy growth here. I can't post treat it in the rain. It means I might have to come back. Oh, yeah, well. Hey, I'll tell you what, the beach, the beach being in the sun, it's been nice. Rig's running good. We're all good, man. Just trying to get a look at the rain. It ain't raining that bad. It's actually kind of cool. So anyway, we're going to wrap this up here in a minute. I'll have to come back and post treat. I can't do it while it's wet. All right, guys. Catch up with you on the rebound. I'm going to wrap up. Peace. Finally, it stopped raining a little bit, but i got to go back and do the post treat. I don't know. Couldn't do it. Rain. I hate going back to jobs. But anyway, it was a good day. Not complaining. Got some work in. Long enough for tomorrow. All right, guys. Catch up with you on the rebound. Thanks. And like, sub, call, comment. Peace.